the recording? It is now. All right. Hi, CCPS. I'm here today and I'm going to read to you Harold and the Purple Crayon. And then we're going to be just like Harold and go outside with some chalk and try to draw some of the things that Harold drew in his picture book. So here we go. Harold and the Purple Crayon. Let's see. One evening, after thinking it over for some time, Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. There wasn't any moon, and Harold needed a moon for a walk in the moonlight, and he needed something to walk on. So he made a long, straight path so he wouldn't get lost. And he set off on his walk, taking his big purple crayon with him. But he didn't seem to be getting anywhere on a long straight path. So he left the path for a short cut across in a field and the moon went with him. The short cut led right to where Harold thought a forest ought to be. And he didn't want to get lost in the woods, so he made very small forests with just one tree in it. And it turned out to be an apple tree. The apples would be very tasty, Harold thought, when they got nice and red. So he put a frightening dragon underneath the tree to guard the apples. It was a terribly frightening dragon. It even frightened Harold and he backed away and his hand was holding the purple crayon shook. And suddenly he realized what was happening. But by then Harold was over his head in the ocean. And he came up thinking fast, and in no time he was climbing aboard a trim little boat. And he quickly set sail. And then the moon sailed along with him. And after he had sailed along enough, Harold made land without much more trouble. They stepped ashore onto the beach, wondering where he was. The sandy beach reminded Harold of picnics, and he thought of picnics made him hungry. So he laid out a nice, simple picnic lunch. There was nothing but pie, but there was all nine kinds of pie that Harold liked best. When Harold finished his picnic, there was quite a lot left, and he hated to see so much delicious pie go to waste. So Harold left a very hungry moose and a deserving porcupine to finish it up. And off he went, looking for a hill to climb to see where he was. Harold knew that the higher up he went, the farther he could see. So he decided to make the hill into mountain. And if he went high enough, he thought he could see the window of his bedroom. He was tired and he felt he ought to be getting to bed. And he hoped that he could see his bedroom window from the top of his mountain. But as he looked down over the other side, he slipped and there wasn't any other side of the mountain. He was falling into thin air. But luckily he kept his wits and his purple crayon and he made a balloon and then grabbed onto it. And he made a basket under the balloon big enough for him to stand in. And he had a fine view 
from the balloon, but he couldn't see his window and he couldn't even see a house. So he made a house with windows and he landed the balloon on the grass in the front yard. But none of the windows was his window. And he tried to think where his window ought to be. And he made some more windows. He made a big building full of windows. And he made lots of buildings full of windows. He made a whole city full of windows. But none of the windows was his window. And he couldn't think where it might be. So he decided to ask a policeman. And the policeman pointed the way and Harold was going anyway. But Harold thanked him. And he walked along with the moon, wishing that he was in his room and in his bed. And then suddenly Harold remembered. He remembered where his bedroom window was when there was a moon. It was always right around the moon. And then Harold made his bed and he got in it and drew up the covers. And the purple crayon dropped on the floor and Harold dropped off to sleep. The end. All right, friends. So we just finished reading Harold and the Purple Crayon, and now we're outside, um, and we're going to be just like Harold and use some purple chalk. And if you, you can use any color chalk at home if you have some, um, but I want to use purple just like Harold. And I'm also in my PJs like Harold, and we're going to draw our world. So one of the first things I want to show you that Harold drew. It's the first thing he always drew was his moon and this line that went across. This is called a horizon line because the um, sun would set on the horizon and it would, um, in the mornings, rise up there. And this would be the land down here. When you come over here and he's making his path, it's called one point perspective. And that just means that he's going to make this path by using one point right there, make a line going this way and a line going this way. And so then he has those long straight lines and they're a path on his road. So we're gonna first start off with that, okay? So I'm gonna give my dad the book real quick. So with my crayon, I'm gonna first make my horizon line. A long straight horizontal line, okay? Our moon's gonna be a letter C with a smaller letter C on the inside of it. And now, to make our road, it can be anywhere we want on this horizon line. We're gonna make a dot. So I'm gonna pin right here. And I'm gonna make purple dot so I can see it. And then from there, I'm gonna make basically an upside down V or the straight lines of a letter A from that dot. So here's one and only one going this way. And there we go. We have our one point perspective. And so this is the path. And I can even make it have dots on the road. Or I could add things on the side of it over here like a bush. or even a tree. Big tree, I have a big tree. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and the next thing we're gonna draw is in our book. Let me grab the book real quick. Thank you. And that's going to be Should we do the apple tree or the boat? Let's do the boat. The boat sounds good. 
So with our boat, remember he got scared because of the dragon under the apple tree and he started making a wavy line. So I'm gonna show you the wavy line first for our water. And then we're gonna make two vertical lines and a horizontal line connecting them to make the base of our boat, a, another vertical line, and then kind of, kind of a weird parallelogram right there, or half of a parallelogram to make our sail, okay? And don't forget our moon. Let's do that. Take it, and to make a wavy line, you're basically gonna make the W, our letter W over and over and over again. So, W, and just keep going. Second W, and make the third W. And we'll stop there. Alrighty, so now we have our waves for the water. Now remember, I said two vertical lines and a horizontal to make that base of our boat. So two going up. thing we're going to draw from this book is we are going to draw the thing Harold was searching for this whole time his bedroom window we might add the bed too we'll see okay so for the window and we come over here we first want to draw from the background to the foreground so things that are in the background are going to be our moon and the foreground, meaning it's closer to us, is going to be the window. So first, the moon. Those two letter C's connecting together. And then, we're going to draw a big rectangle over our moon. Now, in our rectangle, we want to go over with two perpendicular lines, one vertical and one horizontal, where they cross in the middle. And we're going to add some little curtain. To do that, I'm going to come up from right here and make a swoop, and then a coming down like that. Kind of like a little letter B, so let's do this again. Kind of like a big U. And it don't have to be perfect. Mine aren't going to be perfect. And then a triangle. Big U and a triangle. If you mess up, you can kind of move it with your hands. Or if you have water and a paper towel, it'll get rid of it. And so right here, I'm going to come in. Make that triangle. There we go. Then we can color those in if we want to. Since they are our curtains. we go. So there is our moon with our window. Let's see, I have enough chalk to do the bed, rest of the bedroom. So I'm going to look at it real quick. So here I have a horizontal line, which is our horizon line we've been talking about, with two verticals. And then we have kind of almost a box with a curvy line up top here. And one here for his pillow and his pillow there. So we're going to see if we can try to draw that real quick. So we need first this long horizon line. And then two verticals. And then I'm going to draw horizontal line to make 
a very thin rectangle and over here is going to be where his feet are so I'm going to draw kind of a rainbow line and stop here and bring it down so that's going to be his covers and then his pillow is going to look like a smile line and then a rainbow line on top of it just like that I'm going to add one more rainbow line right there so there we go there's Harold's bedroom so I hope you enjoyed going outside and being like Harold and using your purple crayon or purple crayon for me my chalk is pretty much gone but I have a lot more chalk um, just not much more of the color purple but I hope you had a great time just like I did I'll see you guys later bye